Welcome to Big Data Pedia. Today we are going to discuss about Apache Airflow Hive operator. So based on that, how we are going to submit Hive script in Apache Airflow shared link. Okay, we will discuss some agenda today. going to open a terminal <coughs> so we will see what are the databases available Okay, training database is available. We can using that. Okay, we have three tables already in this databases. So now we are going to create a table via Apache Airflow scheduler and based on that some insertions we can continue with them. Okay, so first we will import Airflow from Airflow, we can import modules. So we have DAG modules. Import DAG and. Airflow model imported, DAG imported, and operator. Operators dot <coughs> Hive operator. So we are going to import Hive operator. Okay, this three is a mandatory. So via Hive operator only, we are going to submit our Hive script. First, we will create some. DAG so DAG of so DAG mainly expecting three requirements so DAG ID and DAG ID the description schedule interval and start date first of four is a mandatory so DAG ID schedule interval and start date is more enough we will provide that things DAG ID I will provide airflow. Okay, I will provide the same with for file name for the reference underscore on two three one hive dot. Okay, this is enough. And then description is not required is not a mandatory schedule interval is a mandatory one so schedule interval every one minute I will be provided as per the count tab and then start date so start date one day earlier we will be provided right now Airflow Utils dot Okay, so we have to import dates as well. Dates import days ago. Now we can use it. dates dot days ago I will be providing minute second microsecond so days ago I just provide with the one days directly n number of days okay DAG is created 
now we will create hive query hql query i'm going to create now mm. use training is a common one so here already these three tables available so we will create new table mm. create table airflow underscore hive mm. we will share some values id as integer a name a string two is enough so every time the script is going to be executed so if table is already exist it will be throwing some error so if already table is exist we will skip this line and we'll go for the next one so for that we will be include this word exists okay so create table if not exist airflow hive then it will be going to be create if already table is created then it's going to be insert some values so insert into airflow hive values Comma data area. Okay, that's it. This is the script we are going to execute via this Apache Airflow. Now we will create a task. So hive task via hive operator I'm going to create so hive operator is expected um, hive ql hive cli connections and rest of this hive configuration rest of this is not a mandatory so these two is a mandatory thing we will be provide that HQL. So already I created that HQL in top. I'm going to use it. HQL query here. So this is the command I'm going to execute. And then Hive CLI connection ID I need to provide. So I have created the connections with local. Mm -hmm. hive underscore local I'm going to use it local connections on schema everything that hive script I just provided so that's not required hive CLI connections and uh, a DAG will be expected I guess so DAG which DAG is going to be follow So DAG equal to DAG hive. Okay, that's it. And then hive task is going to be called on main program. So DAG hive dot CLI is going to be refer it. Oh, that's it. We'll be cross verify once again. A DAG created, a Hive script created, Hive operator created, and that directly we'll be calling from here. Everything is fine, I guess. Now we will go into 
check it out. Invalid syntax, something is showing. Use training. Create. Everything is fine. Okay, task ID is required. <coughs> that is we have missed. I just include the task ID. So hive task is the name, but we need to provide them some task ID for the DAG understanding. So task ID. Hive script. Let's go task. Okay. So now I guess that everything is fine. We'll be refresh it. Okay. Hope uh, now it's coming here. I think we have missed the word. So the same is coming here. Enough, no problem. Now we just going to be execute this. Before execute, we just verified once again. Test airflow something is available. The airflow hive table is not created yet. So via airflow scheduler, we are going to execute it. And manually, I will trigger once again because every one minute we sh have scheduled. So after one minute only, this job is going to be executed. So we'll see with the timings. Okay, manually one job was triggered, and now it's executing. And based on the time, another one job is in scheduled, I guess. Okay, so two job is same time is running, I guess. Yeah, two job running, one is running, another one is in queued. So once the first job is completed, second job is going to be executed. We will wait and watch what will be happen. Still executing. job is completed successfully next job is running right now so now we will be going to see tables yeah airflow hive successfully created so we will see the data start from flow underscore hive is a table name Hive is getting slow, I guess. Okay, so one and big data pedia that is we have referred here. So this value is inserted and continuous injection we have provided every one minute. If second job is completed, that also will insert one more line again. So 
still the second job is executing yeah second job also is completed then third job will be executed as per our time scheduler so we can see the data now again now two data is inserted like this the job is going to be executed and the script is going to be followed so we can follow this is the basic so whatever this high script you have you're going to use it you can refer and directly execute from here what are queries are schedule based everything you can follow here so this is a simple command we will be using okay so further videos you can refer based on suggested that's it thank you and share your valuable comments to us and we will be follow and reply back to you bye bye